Aloha, welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Master Paul, and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. Thank you for coming to my live stream today. As you can tell, I'm in a different environment than I normally am in. I am currently at the Waikiki Community Center here in beautiful Waikiki, Honolulu, Hawaii. And I signed up to help support the local community here at the Waikiki Community Center uh, because of their need for this wisdom. The majority of the people that come to a center like this are uh, moving towards retirement or already retired and they want to keep their health, their well-being, their body, their, their mind, they want to keep all aspects of their um, soul, heart, mind and body up to speed and moving forward. <clears throat> so a lot of the classes that are already existing here include Tai Chi, Qigong, Feng Shui and uh, some other very very good and high quality classes that are currently present. So I felt there was a need and a value for teaching Master Shah's wisdom and teachings. So I thank you all for coming here today. As I said, my name is Master Paul, Paul Fletcher. And um, as a student and worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah, I have the great honor of sharing the wisdom and teachings of this most incredible being. So first I want to start by giving you a little background of who Dr. and Master Shah is for all those in the room that are new. <clears throat> Dr. and Master Shah is a doctor first and foremost. He is trained as a uh, American medical doctor. He was trained in China in all of the American medical uh, modalities and has received his doctorate as such. He is also a uh, traditional Chinese medical doctor. So he has two degrees, one American-based medicine, one Mandarin Chinese-based. He is also a world-class acupuncturist. He became as famous as he is <clears throat> for a variety of reasons, but it started many, many years ago when he was in the Philippines. And he was um, training underneath one of, the, one of the premier doctors who worked for one of the heads of state. And when that doctor could not resolve a particular issue, a slip disc in which one of the people that worked for uh, this premier individual, um, they basically couldn't move, couldn't get out of bed. And each time they started to move, they had severe pain. And so Master Shah, who was not a master at that time, he was just a doctor in training, he, um, he said, can I try something? And so he did a, a one movement with his fingers. Behind, this is a slip disc in the back behind this person's knee and the person screamed in pain and then he said Master Shah ta told him get up and the person thought he was crazy he flipped a finger behind his knee and he tells him to get up this guy's in excruciating pain but he insisted and the person got up pain free no problem word spread quite rapidly and Dr. Master Shah then started becoming well known amongst those very important people VIPs Eventually, this led to him getting a visa to go to Canada. And during that time, when he was in Canada, <clears throat> he got his acupuncture specialty degree and he started a business. He was quite famous as a one-needle acupuncturist. He would literally see anywhere between 70 and 100 people a day, uh, which if you know about acupuncturists, 10 people a day is a lot. But he was able to, to bring about such fast resolve in just a very short period of time because of the teachings that he had been taught, brought up in, in his native country of China. So Dr. and Master Sha would, would treat people in just a few minutes with his spiritual third eye, he could see the blockage area and he could see where in the human body that blockage was. Even if the pain was here in the arm, he could see that the blockage area might have been back here somewhere on the spine and he would put a needle in the appropriate spots and the blockages would clear very rapidly. So Dr. and Master Shah has been working for the last one years to become recognized. He started writing his first book, now he has over 20. And of those 20, 11 are now New York Times bestsellers. Think about that. How many people can you think of that even have two or three New York Times bestsellers, let alone 10, 11 New York Times bestsellers? <clears throat> the, the, and these are all in nonfiction. So he is teaching people how to heal themselves. Uh, Master Shah started out as a young child at the age of six. And at the age of six, he started training with a Tai Chi master in the park near his home. 
he saw with you know the little the, the eyes of a little six year old wide open and he sees his Tai Chi master having the students attack him and he does this just a very beautiful movement and the students fly off he doesn't even physically touch them the energy movement in itself causes the students to fly away you can imagine a six year old watching this going oh my goodness what is this this is incredible so Dr. Uh, and Master Shah started at such a young age learning the martial arts, the healing arts, and the arts of energy. He then, at about the age of 10 or 11, <coughs> um, had mastered, in essence, Tai Chi, and then he moved forward in his journey to Qigong. He became a Shaolin monk for a period of time. He then went and became a feng shui master as well, training under the number one feng shui master in all of China. Extremely well respected master. So he received a grand master in all of these modalities. In 2002, out of well over 10,000 Qigong masters recognized around the world, he was number one, 2000, 2002 uh, World Congress, Fifth World Congress voted Qigong Master of the Year. This was before he became what's called a Divine Channel. <clears throat> in 2003, the Divine came to Master Shah and he said to him, my son, you have served humanity very well. You have a pure heart. You have a heart of service. I'd like to make you my Divine Channel. Master Shah, in his own words, said, I am honored, God. What is a Divine Channel and what does that mean? And at that time, Dr. Master Shah uh, was very, uh, very good at healing people, but he didn't know what divine healing was. And so at that time, uh, when, when he was asked to become a divine channel, they were in a room of uh, many hundred people. And so the divine told him, find someone who was very sick. And he found a gentleman who had just been diagnosed with cancer. Uh, I should know what stage it was. At this time, I don't know. I don't believe it was stage four, but I could be wrong. I do remember it was about five centimeters. So it's not small. And at that time, uh, Master Shah he said, Dear Divine, what should I do next? And he said, Give an order, and then I will send something from my heart to him to bring healing to him. And so Master Shah said, Transmission, which we've come to find out is a divine order. And at that time, he saw from the divine's heart a light ball going to this gentleman Walter's liver. And he said, okay, what now? And he said, tell Walter to chant divine liver. And if he chants two hours a day for the next couple of months, he has a possibility of completely healing his liver. I'm happy to report that every year Walter returns to see Master Shaw when he comes into town. And it's been about 16 years now, uh, about actually a little bit less, about 15 years. And Walter is still cancer free. So this is an example. Hi, come on in. Good to see you, John. <clears throat> and so this is now an example of Dr. Master Shah becoming a divine channel in 2003. Now since then, that's when he started writing all of the books that he's written. Today, what I'll be talking to you about is the fourth soul house, what is also known as the fourth chakra. And uh, in many of the uh, teachings, it is also called the heart center. So this teaching comes from one of many books that Dr. and Master Shah has written. He tends to repeat the most important stuff. So this is maybe the third time he's spoken about it. And this one is called Tao Song and Tao Dance. Now, I'd like to start by what is the heart chakra. So for those of you in the room, I will write forward because you can read that. For those of you online, it looks backwards. So I will write it backwards for you. Now this is called a heart chakra. What is a heart chakra? It is an energy center. In the human body, there has been mapped out over the course of time seven major uh, centers in the body. Now, it is one of the seven major centers. It is located, if you look at the body, let's see if I can get this on the image here. It is located midway 
in the center of the body, approximately two and a half inches inside the body, and it is fist size. So the size of your fist is the size of this energy center. Now, it has so many important aspects to it. I'm going to read some of those things that Master Shah has indicated about the power and significance of this heart chakra. In his teachings, he refers to it, by the way, as a soul house. Now, if you uh, had attended my uh, teachings earlier in the week, I spoke about the first and the second soul house. I spoke a little bit more about what a soul house is. Uh, I'm not going to go back into that teaching today, but fourth chakra and soul house, same terminology, uh, same result, different way of stating it. So he says in his book, on page 120, if you have this book, the fourth soul house is very significant. This soul house is the key for empowering, healing, and rejuvenating the fire element, the metal element, and the earth element. Now, that's a teaching that I've given in the past, and I may continue to offer more information on those in the future, but um, we'll come around to those more in this particular teaching. The fire element includes the heart, the small intestine, or the yin and yang organs, the tongue, the blood vessels, including large and small arteries, capillary system, and the small and large veins. So that's the fire element. So what they're saying is when we bring energy healing into this area, we're impacting all of those parts of your body. The fire element also connects with the emotional condition of depression and anxiety. How many of you have that happening in your world? How many people know somebody who is anxious or has depression conditions? Okay, Most of us do. And we can teach them this simple practice we're going to be doing here today. The metal element is another element that Master Shah says is impacted by this practice for the fourth soul house, fourth chakra. He goes on to describe that the metal element includes the lungs, the large intestine, which when he says those in the order, the lungs is the yin organ, the large intestine is the yang organ. They're called paired organs, meaning if one is out of balance, it impacts the other. So if you have consistent lung issues, it will impact your large intestine and vice versa. So the lungs, large intestine, the skin, the nose and the physical body, and it connects with the emotion of grief and sadness. The earth element is the third element that he speaks of that has an association with this energy center. And he goes on to say that the earth element includes the spleen, the stomach, the mouth, the lips, the gums, and the teeth, and the muscles in the physical body. And it's connected with the emotion of worry in the emotional body. The fourth soul house is also the key soul house for healing and rejuvenation of the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the lymphatic system, and the digestive system. That's not a small thing, guys. The respiratory system, again, that's the metal element lungs. The circulatory system, fire element heart. The lymphatic system, that's the cleansing system associated with the spleen, and that's the earth element. So these huge systems, the digestive system is also associated. It goes on to say that the four soul house is also the key soul house for empowering the message center. That's the first time you've heard that word today. You've heard me say fourth soul house. You've heard me say fourth chakra. But in the teachings that Master Shah has taught since he began, he learned it as what's called the message center. Do you know why? Any idea, John, why it's called the message center? <coughs> <laughs> There's a mailbox there. Yeah. It's true. Good response. We receive information in this center. It is the center through which heaven communicates to us, the heart center. When our heart is open, we can receive much better. The information is much clearer. So we receive clear, profound messages. Very good answer, John. <clears throat> um, so this is also the center that's associated with the release of soul language, soul song. It is the center, it is the healing center, the love center, the forgiveness center. It is the center for compassion and light and the transformation center. And most importantly, it is the center for soul enlightenment. 
Soul and Light is an entirely different subject. And I think as I talk about it out loud, I will definitely teach just on that subject based on Master Shah's teachings. Uh, I'll give it an entire show. So the Soul House is a sacred powerhouse for expression and speaking truth. That's what this Soul House, expre expression and speaking truth. It is the powerhouse for developing the Tao Song of the Tao Presence for the Tao Song Power of Breath. The fourth soul house is the powerhouse for developing your vital energy and life force. It is, a, and you can apply this to self-clear soul mind body blockages on all levels. Now that took me a while to read all that. I expanded a little bit, but it goes to show you just how powerful this particular uh, center and the body is. <clears throat> now it is one of three what Master Shah refers to as foundational energy centers. So one of them, and I'm not going to go into deep teachings on this, but one of them is the heart center. The other is the lower Dan Tian. On Tuesday, we talked about that in relation to the second soul house. And then the third one is the Kundalini Ming Min area, also known as the, um, in the Tao teachings, it is called <coughs> the... Um, Oh, there's like three different names for it. Anyway, going through a, we call that a brain fart. Um, moving on. So the heart center is the most important center for all of these aspects. When we have almost any kind of issue happening in our life, any emotion, when we have a lack of clarity of thought, heart and brain are connected. When we have um, low energy, why? It's connected to our lymphatic system, our circulatory system. It connects to our digestive system, which helps create our energy. All of these are interconnected. So taking the time to do this practice that we're going to do today, 15 minutes a day, could have a significant impact on your life. <clears throat> so what are the practices? We're going to employ the four powers. Now, for those of you that are new, the four powers are body power body power mind power sound power and soul power writing upside down and backwards not so easy but it's fun good for the brain okay body power mind power Sound power, soul power. <clears throat> Body power for this practice. Go ahead and place your one hand in front of you. Now you can switch hands, it's okay. Sometimes one arm gets tired and then halfway through the practice you can switch. That's fine. Place the free hand as comfortable to you over your heart center. Now your heart is to the left of your rib cage. The heart center is actually in the middle, roughly two and a half inches inside your body, right over the uh, chest plate. Okay? So place your hand there. Now you don't, never place your hand stiff. Uh, you don't want to push up against your chest because then you're blocking the flow of energy. It's just gently cupped and gently relaxed. The other palm, again relaxed, goes over your lower abdomen. I like to rest my knuckle in my belly button and then just gently drop the rest of my palm. Both arms are relaxed. If you're standing, then you would have your knees slightly bent. If you're sitting down, please bring your back away from the back of the chair. This will allow for the flow of energy to have the full effect. So this is your body posture, or what's known as body power. This allows for the greatest flow of healing and energy. I want to take a moment to acknowledge everybody that's, that's come online, that is watching on Facebook live stream. I've seen you all come on, uh, and I wish to say thank you for coming. Uh, I would respond to you all individually, but I'm focusing on the classroom as well at this time. So thank you for joining. So. The next power, mind power. Mind power is creative visualization. That is the one sentence secret. So the simplest mind power is visualizing golden light in our heart center. Okay, golden light. And you visualize that coming in from 360 degrees. I like to see it spinning and shooting off anything that is not pure golden light. That would be your mind power. 
sound power, we're going to use the word ah, A-H, ah. Just like when the doctor says, open your mouth and say ah, that's the sound power. Ah, ya, yo, dao. Ah, ya, yo, dao. Just like we did on Monday and Tuesday. And you're going to hear me change that ah, ya, yo, dao to ah, ya, yo, jong, which means core of your body. Ah, ya, yo, ling. Ling means soul. Ah, ya, yo, shu. Shu is emptiness. Ah, ya, yo, kong, K-O-N-G, which is uh, ultimate emptiness. And so I will uh, lead you in that. Don't worry about that. But that's the sound power that we're going to go through. The soul power is the most important. For those of you that are new in the room, soul power is saying hello. Dr. Master Shea teaches a basic teaching that everything has spirit in it, therefore everything has soul. And when you connect at that level, then you are connecting at the highest level and giving everything a chance to transform. If we have blockages in our message center, in our heart center, then our heart has a soul, our heart has spirit. How many people have low spirit here, right? You can tell they have low spirit. Other people are bright, cheery, wonderful. They're, they don't have anxiety, they don't have depression. So we definitely know that the heart has a soul. And we want to connect to that directly. It's called saying hello. So repeat after me. Dear the soul of my heart. Repeat. Dear the soul of my heart center, my message center, I love you. Thank you for your service. You have kept me alive. You have brought me energy and you have helped me be the great person I am today. Thank you. You have the ability to heal yourself, clear blockages in my message center, and help me to become more loving, kind, compassionate, and healthier. Please do a good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is soul communication with the heart. Now we're also taught that the souls outside of us always want to serve. So we know God, we know Jesus, we know Buddha, many, many beautiful souls, all of our spiritual mothers and fathers. So we ask them to come to serve also. So repeat after me. Dear God, dear Jesus, Mother Mary, dear Buddha, dear Guan Yin, all mothers and fathers that wish to come to help, to bless me, to heal and rejuvenate my heart center. Could you please come? I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So inner souls and outer souls, we can connect to both of them. This is the four, soul, this is the four powers. This is the foundation of, of Master Shah's teaching. Body power, mind power, sound power, soul power. When we do them together, we get far greater healing than individually. Okay, so let's put our hands where we were just taught. Close your eyes. Visualize the golden light in your heart center. We will chant Ah Ya Yo Dao, seeing the light coming in from 360 degrees, healing and boosting this area. Let us begin. Ah Ya Yo Dao. You'll get used to the tune. Ah Ya Yo Dao. Ah Ya Yo Dao. Ah Ya Yo Dao. Aya yo dao, 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 aya yo dao. Aya yo dao, 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 aya yo dao. Aya yo da, aya yo dao, 
And now chant Ayayo Jong. Everything is the same. Continue to visualize. Ayayo Jong. 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 Jong. J O N G. Ayayo Jong. 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 And now, with your eyes closed, I will lead you through a forgiveness practice. The reason we have blockages in our heart center is because we may have done unpleasant things to others in this and other time. We may have ancestors that have done unpleasant things to others. So please follow and repeat after me in this forgiveness practice. Remembering it's not the amount of time that you do the forgiveness practice. It is the authenticity of your heart. So please follow this. Dear all souls, please forgive me and my ancestors if we have brought harm or suffering to you in any way, if we have caused you to suffer physically, if we have created emotions of depression and anxiety through our wrong thoughts and words and actions, if we have caused you to have strife, suffer in your mind, if we have created hardships because of our closed heart, lack of compassion and love, lack of forgiveness and light, I truly, truly, deeply, deeply apologize. I know that to apologize is not enough, that you have been harmed but I will continue to serve and to ask for your forgiveness because I have learned my lessons. I truly appreciate the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. If you have brought harm or suffering to me or my ancestors in any way, whether it is new or if you are reminding us of the suffering we brought upon you, regardless, I release you of any karmic debt to me. I wish only to move forward 
in love and light and to serve humanity. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Let us continue to chant Dao Ya, you know, um, excuse me, Ah Ya Yo Ling, Ling is soul. With love in your heart, offering your greatest forgiveness to all those souls that might have been harmed by you or your ancestors. Ah Ya Yo Ling, Ah Ya Yo Ling, Ah Ya Yo Ling. silently <clears throat> I will offer you a description of what is happening as you're continuing to chant Ayayo Ling at this time everyone who has joined this conference has a huge golden light ball that is subdivided the largest ball is larger than your body but each of you have hundreds of thousands of subdivided golden balls coercing through your energy systems veins capillaries and your chakras these energy balls are operating on their own intelligence there are some that is going through the capillaries and veins in the kidneys, clearing blockages of blood flow in this area. For others, there is a circle occurring in your energy and matter channel in which there are two balls, one going clockwise, the other counterclockwise, clearing the blockages in this energy and matter channel. Some have blockages in the brain and there are quite a few of you actually that have this majority uh, limitation and it is literally like ping pong balls bouncing around from synapsis to synapsis clearing the blockages that would potentially create confusion cloudiness and a lack of clarity in your choices. Each of these blockages are aspects of karma blockages originating from the message center. The large golden ball continues to purify all of your message centers, releasing many of the negative mindsets, thoughts, belief systems, and for most of you, a great deal of the blockages are self-talk or 
beliefs that you have accepted as true from parents, peers, and others that are truly not accurate. Thoughts and beliefs like worthiness, you will never amount to anything, why try, it won't make a difference, etc., etc. There are a great deal of blockages of this nature in all of your message centers. And as you are chanting, each of you are receiving blesses, blessings to remove blockages like this. How? Let us now chant. Aya yo shu, emptiness. Move into deeper layers of emptiness. Aya yo shu, aya yo shu. Aya yo shu, 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 aya yo shu. あやよしあやよしあやよしあやよしあやよし And then we chant Ayayo Kong, K O N G. Ayayo Kong, Ayayo Kong, Ayayo Kong, Ayayo Kong, Ayayo Kong, Ayayo Kong, Ayayo Kong. Now silently maintain your thinking, maintain your silence, maintain your emptiness. Continue to chant silently, Aya Yo Kong. Continue to smile in your heart. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Divine Dao Source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you to all the souls that came to offer this blessing during this practice. So all those in the line, all those in the room, please share, what was your experience during this practice? Did you see anything with your third eye? Did you feel anything? Warmth, vibration, movement in your body? 
Did you notice uh, clearing in a certain aspect of your body? Sometimes you may have come with pain in a certain area and now it's gone. Doesn't make sense if you have pain in your neck, arm, some place in your body, but then it's gone because we're focusing on the heart center. But that's because of all of the associations of the metal element, the, uh, the earth element, and the fire element. They impact so many parts of the body, including, for example, muscles, which is the earth element. Potentially, you could have some muscle uh, irritation be less at this time. So there's many different values that can be benefited from a practice of this nature. <clears throat> so, um, as you know online, I am teaching at the Waikiki Community Center. And today I am blessed to have a student that came in. I'm still building up visibility here. Uh, it takes a little while to build up trust and build visibility. But I wanted to ask if this student in the room, if they would like to be a demonstration person to receive a complimentary blessing. I got a yes. So I think that's a smart answer by this person. They'll definitely get some big benefits. Come on up, John. Yes, Yvonne, you're correct. I'm at the Waikiki Community Center, and they have a band that I did not know about. So we get music to go with the healing. Yay! Come on over here, John. You can have this seat. Thank you. You are welcome. Now give me just one second. Hold on to this for me. Okay. I'll be right back. Hello out there. You have a big attendance today. I thought you picked me. <laughs> <laughs> just go ahead and clip that on your shirt, John. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, clip it on up here. All right. Not in the heart chakra, huh? Okay. No. <laughs> So one of the wonderful aspects about modern technology All right. is that you can have more than one person on a microphone. So say hi, John. Hello. Okay. Aloha. So today I'm going to offer you a soul operation for the message center. Now, can you let us know if... So John felt a little constriction in his heart. <clears throat> um, can you tell me more? Did it Was it like a little tight? Did it feel a little sore? Um, it's hard to describe. It's just... A little bit of tightness. Okay. I noticed that that's about it. Okay. So I'm going to do a soul reading first. So we can right. describe what the blockages are in the message center that might be causing some restrictions in the heart, the association okay. there. Okay. And then uh, I will do a soul operation and I'll do a reading afterwards as to the benefits according to the records in heaven. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah. All, All right. right. That's why I'm here. <laughs> okay, Thanks so for the surprise. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so please state your full name for heaven. Uh, John Robert Coleman. Okay. Dear heaven, could you please open the, a record for John Robert Coleman? Uh, allow me to see what is necessary and pertinent at this time related to blockages in the message center that is impacting John at this time in his life and whatever areas that are being impacted, including potentially anything associated with his physical heart. Thank you. <clears> How? <throat> this is Yan Wan Ye. I am the leader of the Akasha Records in heaven. You, my dear son, are a very important servant to humanity. God is very grateful for all that you do. God sees all the little things you do, like helping the little older ladies, even the lesser, uh, lesser <laughs> old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> the young old ladies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, God sees your open and pure heart of service. He sees your donations. God sees everything that you wish to accomplish and is very grateful for your service. At this time, your message center has experiencing, is experiencing some karma blockages. These are related to lifetimes in which you had made wrong choices and had followed wrong spiritual teachers. And in two lifetimes in particular, 
you had steered other students away from a right teacher. Those students' spiritual journey had been negatively impacted by a combination of well over a hundred lifetimes before they righted their ship. This karma has come back to you in 17 previous lifetimes and is present at this time. It is one of the reasons why you have difficulty promoting your products. It is one of the reasons why you have difficulty um, aligning to a teacher and aligning to any particular subject matter that truly resonates with you. This is because of the darkness from those times. The teacher that you steered others towards was actually not of the light side and they have their own ways to keep you from opening your heart to the higher level wisdoms and teachings and allowing you to access that which would truly move you forward the way your soul wants you to move forward. I am confident this resonates with you. Today you are blessed. You will receive a blessing that will release a great deal of these blockages. There has been a decision made at the heavenly levels as to the percentage and amount that will be offered. It is important for you to continue to ask forgiveness, especially of those souls who you at those times had steered in the wrong direction. Also ask forgiveness of the Creator for uh, taking those away from the purity of the original source teachings. If you are consistent with this and authentic in this, this karma has the potential to be, rele be released in this lifetime, which would truly enhance your soul journey dramatically. This is Yan Wan Ye. How? Okay, so now I will offer what's called a soul operation. For those of you that are watching, this is something that I am offering to all of the students and this could be extended upon approval to any of your loved ones. I'm doing it for any of the seven soul houses, the Wai Jiao, and the Energy and Matter channel. So there's a total of 10 possible soul operations, one for each air, uh, center, etc. This is an example uh, for the heart center, okay? Prepare to receive. So operation for the message center for John Robert Coleman, as appropriate, begin. Opening, bringing in the light. Pay attention to anything you might be feeling or seeing or experiencing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll ask John in a minute. For those on the line, if any of you have third eye, please share what you might have seen. So John, did you notice anything? Uh, sensations, emotions, feeling, anything at all? Yeah, I think uh, the warmth of the heart, the left side of my heart. A little uh, warmth in the left side of your heart, okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what I felt. Okay, 
Yeah, I'm still, I'm still feeling a little bit of that too. Still feeling some. Yeah. yeah, the nice thing about any form of healing that is done through soul healing is it doesn't stop in that moment. Yeah. The important thing to understand about soul healing is that soul healing is not truly not at the level of the physical. It actually is at the level of soul because our soul lives forever. And the soul has lifetime after lifetime after lifetime of experiences which create good virtue, good karma, and unpleasant karma. And the soul looks like you. Maybe a younger, more handsome version, <laughs> but it looks like you. Come on. <laughs> younger so, <laughs> and so Younger, this, older The man. soul um, carries with it. So the physical body is actually a physical world reflection of the soul. When a healing is offered, it's actually offered at the level of soul. The physical body then adjusts the energy and matter to reflect the shift that occurred up here. When a soul operation is offered, when a blessing is offered, what is actually happening is virtue is being released through divine, through Master Shah, through the channels that I've been off blessed to receive. Mm -hmm. And virtue is offered, which is good karma, to offset the spiritual debt, the bad karma, and therefore the blockages at the message center leave. Okay. So then the physical body starts to reflect that change. Sometimes it's instant, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Right. Make sense? Right, right. Okay. All of it. All of it does. Good, yeah. good. And so um, now I'm going to do a soul reading as to wow. what transpired with this blessing. I'm so blessed her. I mean, I'm getting threes. Well, it comes in threes, right? It does come in threes. Three. Okay. It's number three? Oh, hey, yeah, it's number three. Uh, congratulations. Third <laughs> yeah. blessing in some oh, special bingo. way. It's bingo time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, All right, so let's do Paul? a soul reading and let's see what heaven says transpired. This is you. a reunion between you and I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a long time. Man. Okay. Uh, I'm be a good boy. Okay. How? <coughs> this is Yen Wan Ye. No. Our dear John was extremely blessed today. In this blessing, God came. God placed his hand above your crown chakra and sent waves like they're showing me like these waves just like sonar waves whoosh, through your whole body mm -hmm. these waves were God's love you think you received a blessing for the message center but in actuality you received blessings of love for the entirety of the Shen, Qi, and Jing of all of your energy and matter, of all of your cellular being. It was much like a crown chakra blessing from the divine. During this blessing, your Akashic records was opened. Many souls were called forth to receive the virtue that was offered as a result of the request of this worldwide representative of the one you call Dr. and Master Shah. During this blessing, those lined up in front of the Akashic Records and received small bags of gold, virtue if you will, and agreed, so they literally signed off in an agreement to no longer bother you and your soul journey. There was approximately Thirty-five percent of the karma associated with this particular description earlier that was released with this blessing. That is because of the nature of this hundreds of lifetimes in which others were impacted. As indicated, if you are authentic in your request, God can release all of this. But there was some left for you so that you understand the lessons to be learned. What can additionally be shared at this time is that your life was saved. There is a possibility that within approximately 11 months, there could have been a condition that showed up in the left atrial that would have started with a fib fibrillation and could have eventually led to a more severe condition. This was released as a result of this blessing today. Okay. You are extremely blessed. Yeah. This is Yan Ye. Thank you. How, how, how? Thank you, Yan Ye. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. Thank you.
Paul, for being a medium by which... Yeah, I'm, I'm honored to be a, a metal man. Thank I, you for uh, being a demonstration for us. Yeah, thank you. I, I've always liked uh, your authentic service that, that blesses everyone. And I appreciate you for what you're doing. And totally being in the divine, I, I appreciate this offering. And I believe that that warmth was clearing out that aorta mm. that mm. you described. Maybe you don't know that, but you said, yeah. I just re I just yeah, repeating yeah, yeah, what right, was right. said. So yeah, right, right. So thank that. you, John. Let yeah. me take this off for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, buddy. You are welcome. Are you, I don't want to leave, right? <laughs> okay, buddy. Yeah. Go ahead and have a seat. We're going to wrap up shortly All here. Right, Thanks. Whew. Okay. So John is very blessed, and Suki uh, saw, saw with her third eye. She says. Master, I saw a thick, dark layer from my from body going to the ocean. Feel very light. Wonderful. And so, one of the things that happens when a blessing like this is offered, um, especially as a demonstration, very, very often the divine offers additional blessings to all those that are watching. So, very possibly, especially if you ask for anything, you definitely got a big blessing as well. Um, so I'm so grateful all of you have joined. I apologize. I haven't.